All right, back at y'all with some more boxing news and updates. You already know this your boy, Love One and Hate One. Let's go ahead and talk about this real quick. And in this video, I am finna break it down to a T why David Benavidez has clearly ducked Canelo Alvarez. And you know how I get down. We finna get deep. Now, before I get into these facts, let me say this. When I first heard about this, this is how you know I'm not being biased. This is how you know I'm being completely objective when it comes down to this whole situation. Because when I first heard about this whole situation, I told myself, you know what? Even though I go in on David Benavidez, even though I call him Pitfall and all this stuff, one thing about me, I'm not biased and I'm going to keep it a fuck. Well, I did some research regarding this and... Canelo, what he did, and his team, they called David Benavidez bluff. If you really listen and read between the lines, well, we're going to do it together. You're going to see that's exactly what happened. And if you notice, David Benavidez has been instrumental when it comes down to Canelo and his offer, the Canelo fight, period. And we all know David Benavidez talks shit. So... We're not going to act like he's a quiet person, all right? The only person that been speaking up and he was better off not even saying anything is Jose Benavidez Sr. So I'm going to read you guys these words from Jose Benavidez Sr. himself. Then I'm going to come back and talk my shit. All right, now put your thinking caps on. Let's read this out. The father and trainer of David Benavidez, Jose Benavidez Sr. discloses that Canelo Alvarez's team approached Samson, his promoter, and expressed interest in organizing a bout if they were prepared to accept $5 million. Benavidez Sr. claims that although he accepted the agreement, he wasn't sure if Canelo's camp was merely trying to gauge his willingness to ask for the money in order to claim that they made an offer, but he was expecting more. It's possible that Canelo and his group had another opponent in mind when they entered the fight. If they disappeared, there was a valid reason for it. What transpired between Jose Benavidez Sr. and Samson in their correspondence with Canelo is unknown to us. Canelo may have changed his mind about taking on Benavidez for whatever reason. Now you guys see, I'm clearly highlighting these words in the red circle because he's using words like unsure, may, that's called making assumptions. It's like you don't know you, or you didn't even give Canelo enough time to basically get back at you, give you a rebuttal or any of that. You guys made up your mind and now you're going to go fight for an interim belt. And as you guys heard earlier, he said Canelo disappeared. But how did Canelo disappear? You guys, when Canelo sent him this offer, it was about approximately three to four days ago. This is before Canelo discussed and let the public know that he will be leaving PBC, right? But just because Canelo is leaving PBC, he still could fight whoever he wants. So that's not even an excuse. But back to what I was saying, how did Canelo disappear just because he didn't answer within the next two, three days? You guys said you accepted the offer, then Canelo disappeared. Now, if Canelo would have signed off for another opponent, or it was, I'm talking about signs to the deliver. Like, let's just say, example, let's just say Canelo sent Jose Benavidez Sr. and Dave Benavidez Pitfall an offer, and then Canelo signed off to fight Charlo, or Edgar Belanga, or even Jaime McGee in that time frame. Then we could say Jose Benavidez Sr. has a point. Jose Benavidez Sr. immediately made an assumption at the Canelo gave him that offer. And he said, you know what? My counter offer is because he even said in another interview that he can make more money than $5 million fighting somebody else anyway. If you read the full article, matter of fact, I'm going to put the link in the description box. You guys should read the full article when Jose Benavidez said that he can make more money than $5 million without facing Canelo anyway. So instead of Jose Benavidez Sr. saying, you know what, they're trying to give us a low ball offer, which I don't feel is a low ball offer because David Benavidez, if he beats Canelo like they think they're gonna do, 
He's going to be the A side in the rematch. And he's going to be the man in the rematch. He's going to have all the belts, right? He has the exciting style. David Benavidez fans have grew. So if he beats Canelo, the sky is the limit. And he's going to make a lot of money on the back end with even accepting the $5 million. But what Jose Benavidez, well, I got to say Team Benavidez is doing, including, and I feel like PBC has a lot to do with this too. They feel like Canelo's trying to give me $5 million. I want a lot more than that. But what I'm going to do is, instead of saying that, because if he says that, he knows that T. Benavides is going to clearly look like they're ducking, okay? And it's proof that they're ducking. But they're trying to blame it on Canelo to make it seem like Canelo is the one that's ducking, okay? But it's crazy because the one that is in line for to fight for an interim title right now is David Benavidez. Now, let's just say Canelo did what David Benavidez is doing right now. Let's just flip the whole scenario and pretend like Canelo was offered $5 million from David Benavidez. And they claim they offered Canelo $55 million, but that's bullshit. Canelo and his team denied it. And you can't offer Canelo shit because Canelo does the offering. So, let's just say David Benavidez offered Canelo $5 million and Canelo... Without even giving David Benavidez a chance to respond, he automatically say, you know what, forget the fight. And he goes up to go fight. What's the guy that David Benavidez is facing? I forget his name, but I'll put a picture up. And this is a decent fighter too. But it's not like no Canelo. You're not going to get a big payday and you're not going to get no credit like you would with a Canelo fight. And if you feel you're that confident you're going to win, why not take it? But if Canelo did what David Benavidez just did, you guys would clearly be calling Canelo a duck for doing what he's doing. But now that David Benavidez is doing it, you guys are sweeping this shit up under the rug. And like I told you guys earlier, because I want to stick this into your brain. When I first heard about this, I said, you know what? I'm giving David Benavidez the benefit of the doubt. But the fact that David Benavidez to this day, Wilder Voice, is not saying anything. He's being very instrumental. And his father is saying a whole bunch of nothing. Which is why I said he was better off not saying nothing. If the shoes was on the other foot, you guys would be calling Canelo a duck. But you guys hate Canelo so much, you guys not even calling David Benavidez out for his bullshit right now. Just imagine. If David Benavidez would have accepted that offer and they would have never brought up no other opponent, they would have, let's just say David Benavidez was in every other interview saying, we're here waiting. We accept the $5 million offer. We're here waiting for Canelo to respond to us. Don't you know Canelo will be looking bad right now? I will admit it, you guys. Because Canelo clearly sent the offer. They admitted he sent the offer and Canelo is not responding. Canelo sent you guys an offer and then a day later, you guys want to say Canelo is not responding to the the claims or whatever. You guys, that's too soon to make that type of assumption. So I'm not buying that shit. You guys, when it comes down to the sport of boxing, sometimes it takes more than a month. It definitely takes more than a day or two to get back at some of the negotiations or the claims or whatever. And it's not even March yet. Like I said before, if David Benavidez wasn't on quiet mode right now if he was letting the whole world know we're waiting on canelo to get back at us we're accepting that offer what's up canelo what's good it's on for may 5th right because we're accepting your offer then canelo will look bad instead you wait a day or two later and then you say oh we're gonna go fight for an interim belt at 175 and then we're gonna blame it on canelo and just say he disappeared which he didn't. And it's proof. So the conclusion is they're going to blame it on Canelo to make it seem like he ducked. But if you read between the lines and you listen to Jose Benavidez Sr., he basically admitted that they're ducking Canelo because Canelo called his bluff and they want to go to 175 to go fight for an interim regular title. It's not even a respected title. All right. So. David Benavidez has clearly ducked Canelo Alvarez. That's my thoughts on this shit. I am.